Hello guys, Fence here and welcome to the weekly vault opening video. We have hopefully a banger today. I did fucking 28 keys last week. Um, so there are three mythic plus options on shaman plus a mythic vault and two heroic options. There is two, three mythic plus options on druid. There's two mythic plus option on DK. There's two mythic plus options on warrior. And there is two mythic plus options and two normal raid options on the wall warlock i think so let's just get started get right in and hopefully get some tier that would be a bueno the creation catalyst is online i think next week but it could be this week i'm pretty sure it's next week though and that is also what sylvie says but i haven't looked into it um really late but how are we looking for creation catalyst items not bueno actually we don't have anything worthwhile actually except maybe this if we upgrade it and put leech on it or not put leech on it upgrade it and then there's leech on it then maybe i guess hmm Just give me like, I mean, honestly, mythic tier legs would be the play. Yeah, that would be bueno. That would probably be the best upgrade we can get. Just, yeah, mythic tier legs would be cool. Please, game, please and thank you. Two, seven, eight, mythic tier. Let's go. Ah, yeah, yeah. No. Ah, we did get legs though. So two sets of leg. No, this is just none of this is tier and i even got shoulders ah but these legs are really good so we're taking the legs um they can also be turned into tier i think it like from <laughs> nah Yeah, because the chest is 272 from Heroic, and that should be easily feasible to pug. Um, a little bit difficult when you don't have four set, but also um, no, normal is, what is it, 259? Um, so that is also closer. Um, I think because this will turn into a best piece. Like, you can't get better, right? Unless you kill maybe Jailer. I know Jailer has legs for male. I don't know if it does for... No, it's gloves for... Um... Yeah, none of them have, they have legs. So this will turn into Biz legs. So we're taking it. They are also Biz right now. Um, Stats-wise. If we don't look at the tier. So... That's pretty good. Well, we got Necrotic Wake. Mm, that's okay. Let's do a quick Simmerino. So we see the increase. Now, bear in mind, this Warlock is still very much living in 9.1. Also, it was nerfed today. Um, it should be nerfed, so that's completely fine. Fucking demo was broken and anybody was like, oh, it's just PI, you just shut up. It might just have been PI, but it was too much. It doesn't matter if it was PI, it was way too far ahead. And also, I've seen it in Mythic Plus, it does brilliant without uh, PI. Alright, so these legs, pretty good. How much do we go up in eye level? Like three, two and a half ish? And it is 263 DPS, so we just crossed the 10k simmed DPS. In, well, yeah, scoffed. Uh, we don't have four sets, so we're running like the old talent builds. Um, yeah, there's not much to do about that until I get some some set pieces. I'd say a decent enough start. Yeah, we got a preparation for the creation catalyst, which is really good. And I just gotta keep at it and puck some puck some raid. Or find a one-day raiding guild.
that might be a thing to just have an ult then all right but well, let's move on to the warrior um i mean again like give me tier chest preferably yeah that would be big like tier chest would be a huge upgrade i'll also take a weapon tier chest or a weapon would be pretty cool Do I, where am i at with creation catalyst again zero yeah because i picked the chest over the head right not the chest uh back piece over the or was it was it a head i can't remember um, but yeah we're at zero tier catalyst pieces sadly let's see grant me tier I'm in prot. Fee fun. Fee fun. Oh no, this is an atrocity. Fuck me. Uh. <laughs> No, man. Why did I try to help somebody? Fuck. And I didn't realize. I, I fans. No, 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 no. No. Fuck me. I Ha huh. You are welcome here. Oi okay so wait why did i get anima twice what do we do here the question is do we pick this and be one step like do we pick this and prep a socket oh i'm tilted i that is garbo man fuck do we get this and prep a socket do we get this and prep a socket do we take crit mastery over crit haste get I, I guess this is an upgrade or do we just take the shield and never use it i'm taking the shield and never using it but then i have it so i can use it fuck it is a good shield though like it looks pretty good Fuck. So Leia's game. I'm in. Uh. 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 Fu. Fan. I. Oh, I'm tilted. Holy shit, I'm tilted. Oh, can only blame myself. That could have been a two hander. Like realistically, it rolled the right weapon, right? We are unholy. That's where we want to be. Now, please grant me a tier set. Where are we at? Uh, we're at zero. No, we have a headpiece actually, which is sort of shit because that's where I made the legendary. Um. Oh, the Della Warlock is on. All right, give me tier game another head tier please for the love of god i already have a headpiece i can put into the creation catalyst give me uh either of these four preferably legs preferably legs preferably legs leg tier leg tier leg tier ha huh. ha huh. Well, it is something to put into the creation catalyst. So now I just need to make a choice. 
what do I gamble on? Do I gamble on chest or do I gamble on shoulders? Or somebody just fucking just locked in with the so what do I gamble on? I mean the chest does have the best um The chest has the best, what's it called, um, stats, but you can craft, um, this legendary in chest. I think I should just get, these should just both be on the back piece. Yeah. Because then no matter what you're swapping around. You're always in the same, sp like everything else is the same. So that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Um, super strain can go in chest as well. I have it on neck right now. Because unity can go wherever the fuck you want. You need to think a bit forward, right? Um, and the reason you don't do chest normally is because you can get a 285. But I am not getting that. Um, what are these? This can be in the head, please. This can be in the wrist. Ah, uh, head and waist, wrists and wrists and shoulders and fingers. Hmm, is Kultiras favor the play, or what do they actually play, the Frosty Boys? Because I know Kultira's favor was good at some point. But I don't know if they're just all breath boys now. And if Kultira's favor is still the play as a breath boy. No. It is Rage of the Frozen Champion. So you are just breath boys. So this goes in wrists. Okay. Is there, this is Skolex Mythic, so that's complete single target. Is there ever a reason to swap? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Nah, they're playing it on multiple different fights. So there's no reason to think about this one. Mm, I think... I think I'm taking the chest. I think I'm taking the chest. It is also the best stats for now, I think. Verse isn't that useful. So we're taking... We're taking the chest. Like, look, I could sim this, right? I could sim and see what's the bigger upgrade. But the clear idea here is to turn one of these into tier. So this is not going to be the item I have. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick the one that is most likely to be a good tier piece for me. And that is quite frankly just flat out a, a coin toss because fucking Lords of Dread drops shoulders and Rygalon drops chest. Out of those two, I would say Lords of Dread is the easier boss. So getting heroic shoulders is going to be easier than getting heroic chest. Also, um, Not also, but this is still just a gamble, right? Because I could open up, uh, what is it called? The vault could roll the chest piece next week or the vault could roll the shoulder piece next week. So there's no, like, there is no way to confidently pick what's best here. There is no way for me to do it. It is just a gamble. And so I will take what I think is the biggest upgrade now. I will take what. I think moving forward is going to be the hardest piece to acquire. So right now, what we're looking at is two set with the creation catalyst and a recrafted legendary, which is pretty good. We got Halls of Atonement. That's not too bad. How much eye level do we go up? Only one and a half. Let's see the DPS increase in blood. No, let's see the DPS increase in 
von Holly. Um, I think it is not going to be completely insubstantial. Like there is a, that is a, wait, what? That is a big eye level increase. Huh. Where are legs? Where are legs? This is fucking, uh, unholy AOE builds. Maybe they don't play coil anymore. Actually, I haven't checked. Maybe they just giga pump. Maybe I should check talents. Ah, I can do with glowing shadows. That's okay. I need to fix up my legendaries for unholy as well. If I am going to play it, but I'm going to be honest. I mostly just tank. Um, some, 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 okay. So we just put a chest and channel. Let's go. All right. So we put this on and we save. And we equip this, we put this on and we save. Then we swap to Blood Boy. Where are we? So it's 221 DPS increase. That is actually slightly lower than I would have hoped. Like, I go up fucking 26 eye levels worth of main stat, and I only get 221 DPS? But I guess it's on par with what they want, though. Also, it is before four set scaling, so I guess there's that. Um, let's see, what is it that they want? They want... Is it one eye level to be one percent or something? Nah, that would be too fucking. What is it? Is it ten eye level they want to be one percent? I can't remember. But it seems one k seven or ten k seven twenty six. That's not bad. That's not too bad. I wonder if they are actually. Now I need to check. Are they actually playing deadliest coil? They should right like that lego is still really but then again frenzied monstrosity was always close yeah they are still playing deadliest coil nice 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 oh there are a few frenzied monstrosity logs though but surely on stuff that yeah on anything anything with aoe they're instant oh maybe not lehoven climax yeah so you need two Legos as a as a DK, unholy DK specifically. I don't know about Frost. I don't think about Frost. I don't think for Frost, I mean. I do think about Frost, but I don't want to play Frost until I have the four set. Um that just seems wasteful. Maybe I am wrong. It would be cool to be a breath boy for a bit, honestly, but DK, I mostly tank. Um It is what it is. All right, Druid time. In terms of creation catalyst, we have a suitable headpiece. That's it, right? Yeah, that is it. We've crafted unity in belt, which was a fucking grand mistake. If we want to play feral, fuck me. I, like I was rushing because I needed to craft it before I could go um tank something and i didn't see this goes in waste and this goes in waste and you use both of these so ra like fucking giga mistake so i need to recraft my unity if i want to ever play feral which is fucking dog um but i i wanted to craft it in head but look at this fucking piece yeah that is going to be a tier fucking uh that's going to be a, a tier piece real motherfucking quick oh and we have legs actually so we have we have legs and head for the creation catalyst. So what I want right now is I want tier gloves, tier chest, or tier shoulders, and then I might create create unity in like a shoulder spot or something. And sure, that will probably lead me to recraft it if I ever do get a mythic vault on this and get lucky. But it is what it is. Show me. I do like this mock. Oh, you've ruined it though by putting on your chest. All right, show me tear, not head or legs.
you're you're joking what L look this shouldn't be allowed this should not be allowed you should not be allowed to fucking give me two head pieces and none of them are tear that should not be allowed blizzard you need to fix your fucking vault holy shit what the fuck is going on why is this just a headhunter uh, i mean we are taking the gloves don't get me wrong but what the fuck am i witnessing this even have the fucking hole in it now we have three pieces for the creation catalyst great three weeks down i'll be ready why is that thing coming in so late and why is it still time gated when it's this late plagueful neat that is that's bothering me the fact that the creation catalyst is this fucking late what how much eye level just clear one eye level neat let's do a sim in guardian let's go we'll just see um scuff oh dude the feral sim is gonna be garbo i have one lego on eh whatever we're dealing with it i only have one lego on like I, you might say why aren't you using your uh the lego from last year because that's the night fail legendary and that is what unity does so um I, you can't use two of the same legendary i think that would be cool though but it would be overpowered i do have like a few rings and trinkets on this that might actually be an upgrade but i'm going to be completely fucking honest with you for now feral is dead to me it does no damage i don't have four set so it's not gonna be fun to play around with so i'm just gonna wait when i have four set i'll look into it if i can be bothered otherwise this is just a tanky boy um we got 114 dps from the gloves which is i think respectable like 16 eye level though but then again only one D it only has one legendary and it still sims 11k so still sims higher than the unholy dk what the fuck what's the eye level difference can i see and i'm wearing the wrong weapon though what the fuck all right let's try this one more time because it's gonna get higher i think can I see the eye level? Anywhere? Go back. The sim doesn't show you eye level. Hmm. That is confusing. Look, honestly, I should just put on a f this. Where is it? Where's the back piece? I should just put on this. Like legit. It's a stat stick. I'm putting it on on the sim. Uh, because why the fuck wouldn't I? Like, why would I use a two six two cape when I can wear a fucking two nine one? Like, there, yeah, it doesn't do shit for me. Don't get me wrong. But like, why the fuck not? Like, why the fuck not? It's going to just be stats, right? All right. Sim is generating. Okay, so. Just between. Wait. Just putting on those gloves and nothing else. Like just replacing these gloves with these gloves for a feral. It's a 13. No, wait, what? It's 160 PS downgrade. Okay, there we are. Replacing the bag, the 262 bag, this one with this one is apparently only... Well, how much agility is that? It's 20 agility and that's 13 DPS. No, no. Okay, I, I'm dumb. I see what I did wrong. All right. So here's what I did wrong. 
So first you you put on the gloves and you gain 160 PS. Then you take on the gloves, put back on the old gloves, then you put on the fucking back, and then it's 13 DPS. So the back alone is uh 119 DPS. And the back and the glove oh 118, okay. Um and the back and the gloves together are 224 DPS increase. So we're simming 11k 586 in feral and i'm never gonna play it at least for now with one legendary but that means i can sell these gloves because they will be forever useless um I have many glove glove go away like. let's go and this one is leech but uh go away uh yeah that was um well, we're ready for the creation catalyst. Now I just need to fix myself up a chest or a shoulder piece and we're good to go. And then I can fucking create unity in whatever's left. That is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm probably going to end up having unity in like chest or shoulder slot. All right. So... We are zero tier pieces in four characters. So let don't worry. Here's the two eight five tier piece, we hope, yeah? I have one mythic vault. Again, all I want is for that thing to upgrade to a tier two eight five. That is all I want. That is all I want. And then this week would have been good. That's all I want. And it's much to ask. Like just fucking shoulders two eight five, yeah? Shoulders 285, I need to make sure. Enhancement, yeah? Just right about here, shoulders 284. Right? Uh, two, 285, sorry. 285. Here. 285. 285. 285. Nay. So there's 278 shoulders, though. We did get a tier upgrade here. They have really good stats. Um... How is this transmog? This is just transmog. Okay, so... Oh, there's actually some choices here. There's actually some choices here. Uh, so this clearly comes from a boss that we've killed. This clearly comes from a boss that we've killed. Cymox. Okay. Huh. So there are three... Oh, wait. There are three avenues to go down. Yep. One, we pick the shoulders because they are an upgrade now. Six eye levels, they're an upgrade right now. Let's actually see the size of the upgrade. They are right now. That is the easy path of probably least resistance, right? That is the... That is the easiest pass. We just peg these shoulders and we gain like a couple of like probably 50 DPS or something. Not even. Um, well, it's two more haste. It's one more mastery and it's fucking five more agility. So we're getting like 20 DPS. Or. We pick the chest for avoidance, turn it into a tier piece with avoidance and think that we won't get the 285 for a while. Oh, it's, it is actually 50 DPS. It's 48 DPS. What the fuck? So that is... That is choice number two. And I think this is the least good choice. We just pick the chest piece for avoidance, turn it in. But we still want the 285. So this is a replaceable item. So is this. The last option and the thing I am leaning towards is picking the gloves. Now, the gloves are going to be useless this week. 
completely useless this week. Now, the reason I'm not picking the shoulders is one, I want 285. Two, I have 278 shoulders here I can use in the catalyst. And three, getting these and turning them into tier will create me abyss item. Right? There are no gloves from last bosses, right? Those are wrists. There are actually. Not abyss item. It will not create me abyss item. But it will create me an item um, as best as it can get until I kill Lords of Dread. And it will allow me to trade tier from Lihuvim. We might kill Lehuvim this week, though. I don't really think so. So this could be a wasted bolt if I pick the gloves. Because if I do pick the gloves, and I do loot gloves of Lehuvim, if we kill it, then it's wasted, right? Because I'll, I won't turn them into anything. I'll just have wasted a vault. But on the other hand, then this will be wasted as well. Because if I don't turn gloves into it, I will just turn these into it. Ugh, sorry. So... This is a temporary just for avoidance. This would be an upgrade right now, 50 DPS. Hmm... I think I'm taking the gloves. I think I'm taking the gloves. Like, bar the situation where we kill the Hoovim and I get the gloves, I think this is the smartest choice. And even if we kill the Hoovim and I get the gloves, then I will just turn one of the two shoulder pieces I have into a tear piece instead. I don't think the avoidance is the call. It is temporary and it is something that can be replaced just by luck. Hopefully, or I should, hopefully next week have two mythical options. I think I'm in for all the bosses. So that is two chances to get upgraded tier. Um, let me see. I have been, I think I've been performing well enough that I shouldn't be sad. Uh, I mean, shouldn't be sad as in won't be, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Um... Performing well enough that I shouldn't be is a weird word here. I w it's not that I shouldn't be as in it would be, oh, Dom of the Guild. I th shouldn't as in won't be. Yeah, as in would be preferred to have in the team. Right? I think that's where we're, what I'm trying to say, yeah. Also, I bring Wind Fury, which is pretty good. Um, So... Fingers crossed, next week I have two Mythic Vault options. That is two options to upgrade to 285. That means this is this is less and less less likely to be the play. I already have 278 shoulders. Yeah, no. So honestly, this has worse stats, so no can do. And this is a headpiece I'm never going to use. It is about is it is whether or not I pick 50 DPS now or potentially a big upgrade next week, like double upgrade next week. I think the play is the gloves. It is the future play and future plays are usually good and I don't sacrifice more than 50 DPS right now. It's not that I'm sacrificing a four piece because I already have a four shit, four piece. I'm not sacrificing like a ton of DPS or anything. I'm sacrificing a 50 DPS gain to gain a shit ton next week. And I think that's a good call. At least I think so. I think that's the... 
Oh. Yeah, this is the play. This is the play. I have two seven eight shoulders ready to turn down turn into tier. There is no shoulder pieces that I can't trade that we are realistically going to kill, right? Like we're not killing Lords of Dreath Mythic, and even if we did, this would not allow me to trade tier. This will allow me to trade tier on a boss that we are realistically killing next week. When I turn them into tier with the catalyst, right? And if we kill it this week and I get the gloves, I'll still get this next week. If I pick this now, I won't get this next week for sure. So I'm foregoing 50 DPS now in order to make a, a far more future proof. What's it called? Um, decision, right? So let, let's go through. I need to go through these because I, I don't have anybody available to talk them through with. So I'm going to talk. My hair is annoying me. So I'm going to talk them through with you guys. All right. Option A. Get the shoulders. Now, if we loot the shoulders now, we get 50 DPS. That's a big selling point. We loot the shoulders now. We don't kill the Hoovum. The next week, I have nothing to use in the creation catalyst because I only have shoulders. Ready to, to be turned. If we kill Lehuvim now, this week, and I loot the gloves, then it's the same. Right? Then it's the then it's that's the that's the optimal thing. I th I pick the, the shoulders now, we kill Lehuvim this week, and I get the gloves. That is optimal for me. Um, fuck me. Oh my god, I need a haircut. That is optimal for me. And that leaves us... Um, well, in the same spot. Sort of. As we would be if we pick the gloves here for next week. We just get the shoulders one week faster, right? So that, like, that would be the best course of action. If I could guarantee we kill the Hoovim this week and I get the gloves... Picking the shoulders here is the best cause of action. It'll give us 50 DPS for all the bosses we're clearing tonight, making them 50 DPS faster slash easier. And also for progress on Pantheon, it'll make me 50 DPS faster and better, right? That is the reasoning for picking these. Now, looking at the gloves. If I pick the gloves, I don't get 50 DPS. So that is instantly a bad deal, right? Pick the gloves. If we kill the Hoovim and I get the gloves, then this is wasted. But then I just turn one of the shoulder pieces here into... Into a fucking... Um, into a tier. And then my personal character is the same. After this week, as it would have been just after the Hoovim. So effectively at the same point, right? But we have not gained the 50 DPS. If we do not kill Lehuvim, then I turn gloves into tier and I can trade Lehuvim gloves for next week when we should kill it for sure. So that's a win for the guild. And I can just turn a turn and I still have the uh, the shoulders I can turn into tier whenever the next tier open up for the creation catalyst. That's probably the week after, right? Also, if we kill the Hoovim and I don't get gloves, then I can still turn these into. This is the safe play, yeah? I lose 50 DPS now, but 100% I will have tier gloves 278 by next Wednesday. And I can then trade the Hoovim gloves. So that's a plus for the guild. We're not wasting four pieces. 
and I'm not foregoing any trading on the shoulders and I have these that I can just make and this is a temporary shoulder piece anyways because you can get 285 this is the play we're taking the gloves I'm doing it it is the play 105% the play let's go we did it that's the play future proof I am fairly happy with this decision I think it's the play and if anybody comes after me then I will explain why I think that's the play yep so overall we got a lot of pieces for the creation catalyst that's about it what I can say yeah like Wallock got legs DK got chest we're not talking about the warrior by the way we're forgetting all about the warrior we're not speaking of this we're not speaking of this druid got gloves and i got gloves uh, two gloves actually so we actually got four pieces for the creation catalyst so i mean the warlock is sort of set for next week but still requires me to get something out of the vault in order to progress my character towards the four set the fuck dk is set for two weeks with chest and head i'm not really pleased about the head though that requires a recraft of unity and suboptimal unity placement um but then again i will never get 285 on the dks so it's not that bad i should probably like crafting a unity in the head on the dk was a blunder on my part for sure um I should have made it belt or something. Druid. I mean, Druid is set for three weeks. I have headpiece. I have gloves. I have legs. All I need to do is find a way to loot a tier chest or shoulders. And then we'll have four set in three weeks and we'll be Gucci. No, not three weeks. Four weeks, right? Yeah, four weeks probably. I don't know how the creation catalyst exactly is going to speed up. I do think it's fucking late. And I do think it's sort of disgusting that we can only make one a week when it is this late. But I guess it might ruin progress for some guilds that are currently barely killing tier bosses. I guess that's the issue, right? Like, So it's been out for at least six weeks. Because I've killed Halondra's the Reclaimer, Reclaimer six times. So you've been able to get tier for six weeks. Seven weeks. That is two months almost. If not two months. So you, you delay the creation catalyst by two months. And then give us one a week. So we must wait three months. To be able to craft a tier set. Given that we, get, we obtained the pieces for it. And I know you can just get them from fucking Mythic Plus and upgrade them to 272. But again, that requires you doing 15s. And are you doing 15s if you're struggling with Heroic? Are you? I don't know. Are you? Is that a thing? I don't know what the difficulty curve here is. You need 2k score. That is most dungeons on a 15. Both weeks. I guess it's... I guess if you do all, you can do it with like a 13 or something. But there's a limited amount of valor. I don't get it, man. I'm just, this is wrecking my brain. I hope you enjoyed it. I have rambled on for way too fucking long now. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.